Aloha, YouTube. It's those dang old scum of the earths. Hey, scum of the earths back. Welcome to our no November. Actually, it's more like a no November. Uh, let's play. Uh, you thought the sc scary times were done. They've just begun. Time to have fun. Or, no, they, I mean, they didn't just begin. Let's They've be real. They've only just begun. No, I, I mean, it's the, it's like the middle of November. This, that's true. Um, we've had some scheduling conflicts. Uh, a spooky, week long. Spooky, scary. Spooky, scary scheduling. Spooky, scary scheduling conflicts. We had that uh, good four or five day period of depression from you know what. Voldemort. <laughs> let's not talk. Let's talk about some real news. Let's talk about. Let's talk about real news. Let's talk about real news. So, okay. Okay. So I, I know you guys are excited to hear it, but uh, today I bought my first bottle of lactate and I'm going to try that. He bought. What is lactate? Lactate is, is that like a suppository. It's milk. Up the butt. It's, oh, it's up the butt milk. It's milk. That you, you heard it here first. Andy has purchased butt milk. Lactate is milk for people who are lactose intolerant. Now I'm not really lactose intolerant, but milk gives me a little bit of those. Uh, You're a fucking poser. Gives me a little bit of the. It makes me. You uh, eat gluten free food. You don't really have a gluten intolerance. I don't have celiac disease. No. You don't have celiac. You don't my have celiac told, disease. My doctor told me, "Hey, don't eat gluten because it's killing you." So I got off gluten, and then I found out it's not what led to my problems. He said, "Psych." And then guess what? Now it's hard to eat gluten. Because <laughs> your doctor also so said, "Man, the corporations are putting GMOs in the food to control your mind, bro. Fight back, Jill Stein." But the thing is. I bought it for an important reason. I bought that lactate. Pot. No, I bought lactate for an important reason. Yes. Because sex sells. But and who's buying? That's all I have to say. So this is a blind run. We took a month off. Um, this is our... Uh, <laughs> we also did a deadly, a couple deadly premonition uh, episodes in between that uh, didn't take. We lost them in editing. I'm sorry. So... We're oh, frustrated. Let me take off my stethoscope. Then, I'm sorry, it didn't take. B what? I'm sorry. We tried our best, but this episode of Deadly Premonition just didn't record. Oh my God, Doctor! What am I? What am I? Gonna, what am I going to tell my son? Well, it's fine because I can go back in time because I'm actually Doctor Who. See, that's a little bit of improv. We like to have fun here. Oh on my Scum god, of the he was Doctor Who the whole time. I should have guessed because you know how Doctor Who's always pointing out that his name is Doctor Who. He's like, people are like Doctor Who, and he'll go, Yeah, that's no, what my name says. is Richardson. <laughs> my name is Doctor <laughs> Richardson. This like for fucking. For what, 30 seasons people have been calling me Doctor Who and I have to be like, no, I have a name tag. Everyone at this hospital is required by law to wear a name I tag. I love the Devo theme song to Doctor Who. <gasps> Call me Doctor. Doctor Richardson. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is Calling Doctor now for Doctor Detroit. Is, is and, and it'd be like, just a clarification, Dr. Detroit's a nickname, because that's where my operation is based. My practice is in the heart of Detroit. Uh, you know, I'm helping out. I'm helping when? out as much as I could. I provide medical services for people who don't have insurance. Oh, nope, song's coming back on. I gotta go now. When when they so got- call me doctor. When they got Moffat to take over for the show, you know, uh, the one, the, I think it's the lady who sat on the Tuffet. Yeah. Um, and they got Stefan Moffat to make the show. He said it in England, and it just ruined it. I don't like when Stefan Moffat put the show in England. When Boba and also Fett, said we're all now we're all puppets now. When Boba Fett took over the show and decided, hey, Detroit, that place sucks. We're he was set like in my town, little old jolly old London. He town. was like Detroit, yes to disintegrations, and then he disintegrated all of Detroit. This is Haunting Ground, by the way. Welcome to Haunting Ground. There's not a lot to talk about because we're just climbing out. No what disintegrations. A the darkness and sun. Never mind. No Metal Gear. That's Metal you Gear. Wish. Remember, remember when? No, I'm being serious now. Let's. Can we be serious, Harris, for a second? Welcome to Serious Radio. I'm Serious Radio. 
Uh, I make all those gifts that you love so much. I'm serious, Harris. I'm you might have heard of my here. you might have heard of my disease, my illness. But do you remember in Empire when I don't watch Empire? No, no. Look, let's be serious, okay, Andy. Okay. I'm be please. People want to know our opinions on Star Wars. In Empire Strikes Back, yeah, there's a scene and there's Dengar, Bosk, IG88, and Boba Fett. I Boba said Fett. The, I said them in the order I like them. Boba and, Fett. And Darth Vader walks by, and he's telling him, "Yo, you you need to go, you need to go and get my son's rowdy friends and put them on ice." And he Capish. walks by Boba. He walks by Boba Fett, and he goes. No disintegrations. And Boa Fett goes, as you wish. And that's when he knew he was Wesley the whole time. And he just, he, Darth Vader goes, Wesley! And he rolls down that hill. Yeah. It's good. Oh, God. It's a great scene. Wesley. Wesley. <laughs> oh, we need to get downstairs. There was a room with a bunch of moths. What are these? Remember that scene when. Oh, hold, hold on. Yoshi's cookie. This crest. Well, fix it. Oh no, is he coming? Oh, yep. Yeah. Who? No! Oh. oh, damn! That's the bad hallway. Yeah. Put this hallway on the map as the bad hallway. Are those cabbages? Those are glowing cabbages. That's correct. No jokes here, just knowledge. Just observations. Just observations, those are glowing cabbages. I don't have time to open a door in which to escape. Where we're going, we won't need doors. Antimony powder. I think that's... Oh boy, we should have... Like, I know we were saying we're doing a blind let's play. Probably shouldn't. We should have took, like, a few minutes to, like, reacquaint where the fuck we're going. Antimony power. Okay, good. It's this like is the a Deku nut, I this, think. Yes. He's a peck, and I'm going to throw him. No, I'm a peck, and I'm going to hit him with an egg corn. I would have thought the magic was in my finger. That's not really the line. I fucked it up. I'm sorry, America. I have Which to Which finger did you think the magic was in, Willow? This one, bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's got a gun. <laughs> What's that? You know what this is, bitch. <laughs> Remember when Willow shot Billy Barty? And by that, I don't mean Willow shoots, like, the high elder of the village. I mean, the character Willow, in fiction, shoots Billy Barty in real life. They had to get a new actor to play that part. It was like, fucked up. Billy Barty why did you do was it? at a showing of Willow, because he was one of the stars. It wasn't the premiere, though, because he wasn't a big enough star to go to the premiere. Well, they didn't have high chairs. He was like, why did you do that, Warwick? And he's like, I'm not Warwick, <laughs> I'm John Wick. And he pulled out two pistols. I shouldn't have killed your dog. <laughs> Bunker! Andy, if you ever have a kid, will you name him Burgle Cut? <laughs> Burgle Cut. Every, every expedition needs a leader, and that leader is you, Burgle Cut. Fuck, that's a good movie. I've had people like on Twitter be like, you know what's weird? People think Willow's a good movie, but it's actually a bad movie. And I'm like, no, what's weird is people think Willow's a good movie and it's the best movie. When I was like, we watched it like a year or two ago after not watching it for a Holds long up. time. Yeah, it does. It really does. That whole scene is amazing. You can't take Bunka. He's the strongest warrior. We need him to protect the village. And then the guy's like, nah, you gotta go with him. See, I'm not even doing the scene. Because I already did yeah, the scene. Fuck you, Burgle fuck Cut. Fuck you, Burgle Cut. You prick. You dumb fat oaf. And he's like, my name is Warwick Davis. And I'm going to war. On, on your wick. And then he just started punching <laughs> just, his crotch. Over and over again. Billy Barty's 
fucking dick was decimated. <laughs> it's really part of that's fucking, a fucking stop I, wailing on my arm. That's a fun way to teach people. Like, like remember in in uh, Pygmalion and in, in uh, what's what's it called? The movie version. My Fair Lady. Yeah. And it's like, sorry, I thought you meant mm -hmm. the legend of Pygmalion. <laughs> Like I like for, I actual forgot what Greek. I was saying now. I'm sorry. No, it's remember in Pygmalion. No, I know, but I'm saying when they're trying to teach, like Olivia Newton John, Olivia Newton John, how to how to windsurf. <laughs> Eliza Doolittle. Was that her name, Eliza Doolittle? Yeah, it was Eliza Doolittle. Cause she didn't do shit. <laughs> Man, I had this joke set up and I just, it's gone. Do you remember it? <laughs> no, I don't remember it. That's the problem. It's gone. I'm sorry. It's in the ether. Take a big whiff. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Where's that map? Oh, there's an X. Oh, there's multiple Xs. Are we the X? No, no we're, we're the, the triangle. We're the, we're the delicious cone. We're the waffle cone. From Belly Castle. Yep, throw that for good measure. It's not like I have a limited amount. And it's not like the only way to get more is to play an insipid mini game that doesn't work because we're playing this on a PS3 with a wireless controller and the latency kind of kills it. Okay, cool. I remember this room. This S speaker box. This is Jack White's recording studio. This looks like a shitty 90s or early 2000s music video. I, I half expect Trent Reznor to walk in and start yammering about the perfect drug. <laughs> I tr remember in Trent Reznor's videos when someone would come out and like in a bath towel and be like, Hey Trent Reznor, quit your yammering. <laughs> and then he'd just stop the song in the middle and just kind of get depressed. I thought it was pretty good. I guess, I guess no, not everyone has liked my music, but... I would love to listen to the recordings of his music video without the music. So it's just him in his fur hat in that like hedge maze going, you are the perfect drug, the perfect drug, the perfect drug. And there's no music whatsoever. Oh, hold on, we got a puzzle, everyone. For some reason, that reminds me of that great fucking Doc Future video. He did that, right? Where it was, um... It was Smash Mouth had a song that was unreleased. They literally stopped making it because everyone stopped liking Smash Mouth. Like, we kind of woke up to society and we're like, these guys are terrible. But they only had the, dial the, the vocals to the song. And they stopped working. And they got leaked. So, I want to say that Doc Future like put it in something called Soundsmith or something, like Microsoft Soundsmith, and it made a backing song to it, and it was so bad. It's it's an amazing video though, please watch it. See, ogres, they're like onions, Andy. Let's get back to what the people came here for. More Shrek jokes. Oh, God, I just had a terrible thought. Are we recording video? You hit record. We are recording video. Good. We were actually supposed to play a game tonight instead of this. That was by DreamWorks. And it didn't work. <laughs> because dreams don't work. It's more like nightmare incompatible. Like... Fuck yeah. Portcullis. Mm, the portcullis. Ah, who fucking threw a bottle at me, you pricks? You know what, this is the end of the concert. Everyone go home. What, weren't we supposed to do something with those little bluebirds? Stop. Well, I know they can hurt you, but I can't remember what- Yeah, but we were supposed to like- I don't fucking know. Let's check our inventory. Hey, Chris, can you open up the file? What's a dog?
Okay, I don't know what to do with the Azoths, but there's something we gotta do with the Moth Door. Actually, what items do we got? Chamomile, chicken jerky, antimony, beef jerky, ball, bisque. Hilarious Shrek reference. Okay, I am legit a little bit freaked out by how... Like, I know Shrek is kind of done as a joke, but... The amount of Shrek jokes that just work for this game are kind of weird. Like, it all kind of comes together. I apologize, folks. I do not know where to go from here. Andy might be relieving me of my captain's duties. Well, last time we were like, I can't go through here. Oh. Oh! It says something with a key, right? Yeah. More like a B, and then you throw a B at it, and it unlocks. Oh. These are all plate keys. Yeah, we've already done this. Shit. Well, I'm going to institute Chris Vaughn's magical fast forward power now. Well, I was doing the magical fast forward and then we got attacked by the I'm fucking done with this guy. I'm done with you. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to fight you. He's fucking using his dark soul stone to invade my game. I'm trying to have a good time here solving puzzles, having an adventure, and you just come and you ruin it. You ruin it. And for what? For experience points? No, Huey, attack. <laughs> You're barking at the bad guy. No, that's rude. Oh, he can't attack upstairs. And for some reason that... <laughs> My patented ankle me. punch. You're for the love of God, get him. Nope! I didn't want... I didn't want to do that. I, I like his little road dog Jesse James dance he does. That's pretty funny. That's pretty fun for the whole family, don't you think? That's pretty fun for the whole family. Well, this game has a hundred hiding places, but you only ever need one. It's under the bed. Oh, he knows. He said good night. No, you, you do. You do have time for this. That's where you hide. Holy shit, what is going on? Hide under there! You stupid cow! This is a very, very well-made game. See, I wish there was a way to turn those arrows back on and somehow trick him and get him killed that way. Oh, fucking booger butts. See, the problem is it's been so long since we've played, I forgot, like, the muscle memory of where to go, you know? Like, you learn how to play a game by playing it over and over again. But when you take a long break, you you forget where everything is. Is it right stick to come in, Huey? Huey. I'm hitting it. Just asked. Fuck. Okay, so up is attack. Fucking get him, Huey. Rip into him. Here we treat them like I treat the mashed potatoes at a golden corral. And just get muzzled deep in it. And then have the manager ask you to leave. I'm gonna treat this guy how I treat the mashed potatoes at a golden corral. I'm gonna throw antimony powder at it. 
I got kicked out of Golden Corral. <laughs> okay. Couldn't close the door quick enough. Having my panic attack. Oh. Can't cl can't go down ladders while panicking. Huey, do something for the love of Christ on his fucking cross! Cut him! Kill him! Do something, Huey! I beg of you! It said up, right? Up to attack? Yeah. Okay, we're in the love below again. I'm out of powder, I guess. Let's try throwing this doll at him. Oh shit, it worked! Get the doll! Get the doll, you big oaf! Oddly enough, I think he chased us where we need to go. Oh, he's a good guy. He's the best guy. No, this isn't where we need to go. Wait, have we been down here before? What the fuck? What the fuck? If we have been down be here before, people are gonna think we're crazy. We might have. Cause we're like, what the fuck is this? This is incredible. Fast forward, or rewind like two videos ago. And we're like, oh, hey, cool, this is neat. Well, to be fair, everything has some kind of crazy filter That's on true. It. I can, I do not know where the hell we are. Oh, and that door's locked, of course. My genius idea for a game where it just looks worse and worse every time you get scared. But it starts off looking pretty bad. Yeah, it's because it's already scary. Ah, <laughs> uh, we've been here. Definitely. Yes, this is what I was talking about. Here are the rooms. Okay, shut the door. I beg of you, lady, for the love of God, shut the fucking door. Smash it up. Can we nope. put flowers in it? I don't think we have any flowers. Oh yes, the moth room. I'm no critic, but it doesn't seem that bad. What it is, stinks! What is it with games like this and like Silent Hill and shit where it's like... They'll have these snarky responses in the... When they're interacting with objects. It's to give the characters personality. To give them all the same personality. To give them snarky personalities while they're about to be fucking murdered. And only when they're... Interacting with Wait, objects. Why would I ever want to use this? Lower your dog stamina? Here, boy, come eat this onion. What's a mundus? Oh, okay. I am Recreatio. Recreatio. Mothman. Okay, so we gotta find flowers, put it in the vase, the moths will... Okay, so we have some kind of goal now. Just in time for the episode to end. Good night, everybody.